Bambies, Kaleido here and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today we are creating a nautical inspired house which is sort of a tiny home. I started off creating it as a tiny house and then I realized as I was going through even though I still was challenged by the small space I just felt like it wasn't small enough to be an actual tiny home, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that down below in the comments. It is quite big, like from the outside it looks quite large, but then on the inside it's very cozy, a little bit cramped, especially as we are building on some angles here. So the only straight part of the house is the hallway, I'm pretty sure, which is tiny. So this house is inspired by a tiny home video, which I watched a very long time ago. It was a family. I think they had two girls. They lived in a more contemporary style of this uh, layout. So it did have the big lounge kitchen area and then their bedroom, which is kind of like a hallway leads to it. And it's kind of its own isolated space for the parents. So I really wanted to create that, but I also have been wanting to try the loft style again after seeing some images that other simmers have created in the community of other ways to do the A style roof. So that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to experiment with some little bits and pieces here and there that I'd seen around the place. And it was quite a challenge. I'm going to be honest, it took me so long to figure out the layout of the kitchen especially. I'm hoping I cut out a lot of that part, but it's okay if there's a little bit left in. But man, this was a quite difficult build to make. I went into it thinking, oh yeah, this will be fun. It's just going to be a small little house. And then I ended up putting in so much more time and effort into it than I thought. But it still ends up being quite a cute little uh, space for families. And I'm really happy with how it turns out. Yay! And of course, I'm going with the blue and white style, which is inspired by sailor outfits. So <laughs> I really like the idea of giving my buildings themes as if they have a personality. Lots of you guys probably already knew that. Uh, but yeah, it has been so long since we've talked to each other, guys. So, so long. Oh my gosh. And I'm not just talking about creating speed builds in The Sims 4. I'm talking about YouTube in general. So while you guys are just watching this, I just want to have a little bit of a chat, you know? So I have been very ill, quite ill with a pretty bad flu, uh, but I did go to the doctor and she said it sort of sounds like I have a deficiency. So like a vitamin deficiency. So we're pretty sure it's a iron deficiency and this does have to do with veganism, but it doesn't have to do with actual veganism being bad. I'm just doing it wrong because I've just been living such a busy lifestyle lately, a very unhealthy lifestyle. When I lived in the country, my dad had a big garden and my boyfriend's parents, they had a big garden and we always had fresh produce coming into the house and this produce was higher quality than anything you can buy at the supermarket. So I was always eating really well and I didn't realize when I moved to the city how much I would miss having a garden, how much I actually relied on having fresh produce. And yeah, it has taken a toll on my health. I have to be honest, I've been sick with the flu multiple times this year already. And even last year, when I think about it, because I've lived in Melbourne in the big smoke for over a year now. And yeah, this is probably the sickest I've been in my whole life. And it has nothing to do with veganism. It has to do with me not eating enough um, good wholesome food with lots of fiber and iron and stuff like that 
And apparently, the thing is, I'm eating a lot of stuff that has protein in it. And I'm also eating a lot of stuff that has a lot of iron. But I'm not eating uh, lots of fruit. See, I used to eat fruit all the time. Uh, especially with my dad having like an apple tree and like uh, mulberry trees, stuff like that back at the house. But here in the city, I always forget to eat fruit. <laughs> I honestly do. It's so weird. I never think about eating fruit. And the thing is, vitamin C allows your body to absorb minerals and whatever, such as iron. So yeah, I haven't been doing so well when it comes to taking care of my body. And also guys, I am no nutritionist or anything. So there's probably some mistakes in terminology and stuff when I was just speaking then. But all I know is that I need to eat a more diverse range of foods. So I need to put some fruit into my food. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. And also it's really dreadful here in Melbourne. It's so dreadful because it's so amazing. We have so much vegan junk food, just like a call away. We could just get it delivered to our, to our house, like vegan junk food, or we can drive down the street and get vegan donuts. It's very easy to get caught up in that and be like, oh, I don't want to have a piece of fruit. I'll have a donut instead. It's so easy to think like that. So I'm pretty sure it's just like a change of lifestyle. And it's such a huge jump from living in the country to living here in the city. But yeah, anyways, that is why I've been so on and off on YouTube and life in general is because I've just been low on so many minerals. I'm trying to get better now. I'm taking B12. I've always taken B12 tablets really on and off, um, but I've always felt better when I do take them. And um, I'm also taking multivitamin pills. Um, but if any of you guys are vegan or you guys, I don't know, you, you look after yourself and take care, note of what minerals and vitamins they're putting into your body. If you have any tips and tricks for me that are vegan, let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Um, but yeah, we're all open-minded here on my channel. I would like to think anyways. So no judging, etc. Uh, we're all about loving each other here. So please, no hating around already. <laughs> okay, so this house is coming along nicely. I really like the color scheme that I've gone for in here, which is the light woods, which I adore. This is actually like a basketball floor, but it's also one of the only timber floors, which is diagonal, making this house look like it's straight when it isn't. Unfortunately, it was a bit of a challenge working with that angled staircase because unfortunately you cannot put them on a diagonal. So it looks like it's on the diagonal, but really that staircase is straight. So it was kind of weird, but I think I made it work. I also made the hallway into a little study bookcase uh, region of the house. So the kids can go and do their homework there, put all their books and things on the shelves. So that is really, really neat. I'm really happy with that space. And we eventually get to a tiny, tiny little lounge room, but that's further along. I just love how rustic this house feels, like all of the slidings, like the, um, the panels on the walls. I think they're really nice. And I just love the bright wood and the white against this dark blue, this dark blue paint. It just reminds me of like nautical sea ocean vibes. And I just love it so much. My eyes adore it. And I hope you guys like this color scheme too. I don't often play around with blue on my channel when it comes to building. So this was quite fun and it kind of has like country vibes to it. I feel, especially in the kitchen, we have the different chairs because I just love mix and match chairs. So this little space here is coming together. It's just such a weirdly sectioned out home. Man, it was definitely a challenge. Oh, man, but it was such a breath of fresh air to try something totally new and different. And I've been wanting to try to recreate that little family home that I saw 
on that tiny home like house video I think it was um but yeah so this is like my version of it it's like kind of hippie country I really enjoyed it yay it's cool speaking of sort of like more country like rural um but beachside places Ethan and I were thinking about moving to a place on the coast of Victoria. I nearly said the name of it, but I we're still thinking about it. So I don't want to say it because it's small enough that I shouldn't put it online. But we really have been thinking about it because, you know, eventually we possibly will uh, have a dog and we can't really have a dog in the city. I don't know. I just don't like the idea of having a dog in the city. Like I know so many people do it, but I grew up letting our dogs roam freely. They could go wherever and they wouldn't even roam that far. They would just stay around our house because they knew that was where home was and they didn't need to go that far. Also, we had a or all right sized yards so they're pretty happy with that I guess but uh I really want to eventually go back to something a little bit smaller but I also love the city because I have friends here there's so much vegan food here that's also one of the biggest problems about it it's hard to clean eat or eat cleanly here in the city because so much temptation around but I really do miss a slower paced lifestyle. Not that I go outside that much right now, but when I do, I'm a little bit like, oh my God, it's so busy. It's so busy everywhere I go. Even just like going to get the groceries, I kind of miss going to a small time supermarket and it being so slow paced and relaxed. And here it's very, very different. But I guess I've been talking about this a lot in some of the other videos that I've done, especially if they have a bit of a beachy theme. It's because Ethan and I, we, we have like this dream idea of a beach home, a little beach shack. And one day, one day I'm going to make myself a beach shack. It's going to be adorable, like a renovated little home. That is just my dream come true. And it doesn't even have to be my forever home. I just want to renovate something and make it uh, totally brand new or have its own quirky style with it. I don't think it should be totally brand new, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, so in this house we have three bedrooms we had this cute little girly one because this is supposed to be a family home so need a little girl's room we have a bathroom down there which is very hippy dippy love it it's got like moroccan tiles i imagine they would be from byron bay in australia if you guys know where that is um, and we also have a master bedroom for the parents. And then we have a cool room, which is like a loft bedroom. And I'm pretty sure I get onto that a little bit later on because it's just sort of difficult. It took me so long to figure out how to make the loft work. And the other day I logged in to take screenshots and the loft space bugged out again and it's not working. So in the screenshot, it's going to be broken looking and I'm very sorry about that. You might have to fiddle around with the loft space, but for some reason it keeps making the floor not open. It's so weird. You guys will see it anyways. This room is so adorable, probably like my dream kid's bedroom. When I was younger, I loved pink and purple and blue when I was younger. I also loved green. When I got a bit older, when I was like 12 or 14, I became obsessed with frogs and green. I just, I don't know what happened to the girliness. All of a sudden, I became like a naturalist. I wanted to be like a zoologist or something like that or a naturalist. It was so weird. And well, it wasn't weird. It was cool. But I wish I did become a naturalist. I would have been awesome. But it was weird how obsessed I was. <laughs> oh my gosh, when I think about it, I had like so many frog things. I even had this creepy frog uh, clock. I, oh gosh, I hope it does not exist. 
because it kind of like you know these big googly eyes and it kind of looked demonic and i'm not gonna lie it did <laughs> oh my gosh so i was placing a bunch of like little kids things here and there using the new parenthood pack that we got i did create this build just after i had installed it so this is quite an old build when i think about it i've just been so ill it's taken me so long to get this out to you guys and again, I really apologize, hopefully, because now I'm aware that the reason why I've been feeling so down and dreadful and sick and icky is because I haven't been feeding myself properly. I just haven't been putting the right nutrients into my body. So I need to get onto that because I don't want to let you guys down anymore. I just really want to put out more content. You know what? I'm so happy I just released the goddess trailer, the mini movie. So if you guys want to go ahead and watch that, it is a new series that I'm starting. Well, I have started. The next episode is going to be up today, tonight. Oh my gosh. Yes. And well, hopefully I'll get it done in time. I'm going to be recording it today and hopefully I can get it edited for you guys to see it soon. If not tonight, it'll be out tomorrow. But yeah, it's so exciting. I love that story to bits. It's something that I've been working on for years. Oh my golly gosh. And you guys have been waiting for it. So make sure to leave a card or whatever to that so you guys can go and check that out. New Let's Play Vibes. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just too excited about it. At this rate, guys, I'm going to lose my voice again because I just... I'm feeling so much better. I've been feeling like energy wise better for probably four or five days, but I had no voice. So I've just been working on let's plays and other things here and there, uh, but I haven't been able to record with my voice. So my voice isn't actually 100% yet, but I just can't wait any longer. I'm not going to wait an entire week to record videos while my head is feeling totally fine. Like I don't have headaches. I don't have an earache anymore. Oh gosh, guys, it was the worst flu I've had in so long. Like I literally couldn't get out of bed. It was so bad. So I'm really glad that I'm able to record right now. And man, even sitting in the doctor's waiting room, I was like dying. Oh my goodness, that is a terrible story. I have to tell you, this is such a weird video because I'm just like talking all over the place. I hope you guys don't mind at all. I just haven't talked to you guys in so long. So I'm excited that we're chatting and stuff. Um, but the weirdest thing happened in the doctor's waiting room. So I got there at like 1.35 and my appointment was at 1.45. So I was like, oh, okay. I'm just gonna sit down. I was like death at this point. I was so dead and just icky, sniffling, coughing. It was dreadful. I probably was one of the sickest people in the room. And this is a doctor's waiting room in a city. So there's a lot of people that are sick. Like the even the lady who had like a broken elbow, she looked better than me. So <laughs> anyways, she probably was like in shock or something. Anyways, so I'm like sitting there in the chair and then the hours start going by. And then all of a sudden it's like 4.30 and I'm like, what is going on? I, I've been waiting forever. Why am I not going in? And then I go up to the counter and I ask her and she's like, why didn't you come to the counter? I didn't know that you were here. I was like, what girl? I was sitting right in front of you this whole time. And then she was looking at me like, I was standing right in front of you this whole time. You could have told me that you were here. And I was like, oh no, 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 no. Why did I not go up to the counter? So I was sitting in that stuffy room for, I don't know, two and a half hours or more. I'm bad at math. I, I don't want to think about that in a video. <laughs> but um, I was waiting there for so long, dying. I needed tissues. I had this tiny little tissue that was like disintegrating in my hands because I had to use it over and over again. They didn't have any tissues. Oh man, this is like the weirdest rant ever. And it was so stupid of me because like I should have just went to the... I should have just went to the desk and been like, hi, I'm Angeline. I have an appointment in 10 minutes. And then she would have been like, okay, sit down, please. 
and that would have been it. Huh? Why did I not do that? No idea. No idea. Why did it not even cross my mind while I was sitting there and like dying without tissues? It didn't at all. It, it only crossed my mind when like hours had passed. <laughs> oh my gosh. And the thing is, other people were coming into the room from the outside, like walking through and they were just sitting down. So in my mind, I was like, oh yeah, that validates it. I don't have to go and say hello to the lady. And I'm a little bit antisocial too. So yeah, that too, that didn't help at all. I kind of, I'd already sat down and I'd like, that was my set mission. Like there's no way I can restart the game. You know what I mean? Like that was the roots I went for. There was no going back at that stage. Like I had already been sitting there for hours, but it got so ridiculously late that I was like, okay, I need to ask someone what is going on. And yeah, my bad, my bad. That lady was so nice. The doctor was so nice. They got me in and within like 15 minutes, man, it was, it ended up being fine. The lady was like, <laughs> we were laughing at the end of the day. We're laughing. And she was like, next time just say hello. I was like, I know. I don't know why I didn't. When I walked in there, I was like half delirious. You have to realize, oh man. But yeah, guys, how cool does this master bedroom look? It is such a little getaway space, which is very chill, relaxed for the parents to get away to when they want to be separated from the children, from the loud, annoying children. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alrighty, guys. We're getting to the end of this video. I hope you all liked it. We also had a grungy teenager loft bedroom. I really liked it. Didn't really get to talk about it much, but hope you guys enjoyed this build, my rants, my weird commentary today. It's, I don't know what type of day it is, but uh, I'm going to go and rest my voice now because I've just talked for like 20 minutes and my throat hurts again. I do it to myself, I swear. Anyways, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. I love you all to bits. I'll see you all next time.